down then you bunch of bastards you. Ooh, me face smells like salmon. I know it's been a while, it's been a while, but I thought it was time that we had another look. It's something interesting that I've been playing at recently, so here we are. Bellus Enders, or as they say in France, Casus Belly. Now before we get into the details of this game, I thought we'd just have a really quick look at some of the graphics. It looks... It looks rather sexy, you know? Yes, it's looking rather sexy. This is running on the Crisis 2 engine. As you can see, this is a multiplayer game. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful. Game's actually running in 1980 by 1080s, I think, at the top resolution, with everything on apart from V-Sync. And I thought we'd just have a quick look at, at how well the game's stop stuttering, knobhead. We'd have a look at how good it looks. The actual firing mechanics, it's really good in this game. It just feels really visceral and um, satisfying. And I shall uh, just call in this little airstrike here. And then we shall get on to the review. Okay, that's enough bit of bing, bada boom. Let's have a look at the interface uh, and the sort of things that we're going to be looking at in here. Obviously, it's pretty straightforward. There are a lot of crosses between Battlefield 2 and Counter-Strike uh, and also Battlefield 3 in many ways. I mean, along the bottom we have different roles uh, Medic, Engineer, Support Class, Sniper, things of this and if your team stays together there's like an aura that's around you so if you're, um, say, the Engineer, if you're near vehicles, you know, uh, they will get a slight buff and things like that. I, it, a lot of the stuff's in game, I'm not too clued on where it is. But as you can see from the map, this is a little bit like the rush mode where you have to capture two points and move forward. Up here you get points that you can spend on money. Spend on money? Spend on money, nobbit. Spend on weapons, aka Counter-Strike. And you can also call in missile strikes and mortars once the timer's down. And you can call those anywhere along the map. Let's go. There are a variety of different game modes, such as Team Deathmatch, Capture the Objective, and Rush Attack game modes. Um, on this particular scene, I've heard somebody sneaking around in these bushes, <laughs> so I'm out with the old shotty. Graphics-wise, it seems to be a real mix. Some of the levels are absolutely dropped in gorgeous, and other ones are, I would say, a little bit rough around the edges. But if you've got a PC that can run Crisis at the top end, we're on uh, pretty much at the top end here, I'm lagging a little bit due to fraps then you're in for a, quite a visual treat and the frame rate is quite solid at around 60 um, obviously yeah, I'm only getting about 30 because we're running with fraps the, a variety of weapons all of them feeling big and beefy and it really, a lot of the weapons really do have a, a nice kick to them Come on, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him in the face, in the ass, whichever, but fucking kill him. Fighting takes place over a wide range of different levels, from snow, jungle, there are some like deserted villages. <laughs> and harvest don't stand too close when you use your TNT. Uh, a lot of them are in the Middle East, so... Y from the north, you could go fighting in Bradford, clicky in Halifax, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Another thing to mention about this mod is it's actually free. Yes, it's free. Generally, I don't bother with mods because they're usually shite. Big, fat, stinking pile of shite. But this one is actually pretty damn good. And I think the game, in its current state, which is version 1.1, I think, if I'm correct in thinking, has only been out about a week. Uh, this is only about my third game, but so far I'm absolutely loving this. It's, it's nice to have a break from Battlefield 3. Um, getting a little bored. I mean, I've clocked up about 200 hours. And the new DLC, well, we all know that's just aimed at COD noobs. COD noobs, COD noobs, shove it up your bucket to hold. COD noobs. 
So this makes an absolutely brilliant time diversion until the uh, real Battlefield stuff comes out. So if you're looking for a game at the minute, you're a little bit bored of uh, BF3, then download it. It's for free and I'm, I will include the links uh, below. Uh, but next up we'll have a quick dicky look, looky look at the vehicles. Let them roll, let them fly, let them drive, let them thrive. Come think of a word to rhyme then. Yes, there are vehicles in this game, aka very much like Battlefield, but not like card. Card in your pants. Doing it in your pants. Yes, there are vehicles in this game, and we can swim underwater. Um, so far I've seen helicopters, Bradleys, M1s, and that speedboat type thing, but apparently there are little little birds and things as well, I've just not been in a game that's been big enough. Um, physics wise, the land vehicles have got a nice, got quite a nice feel to them, they're very much like Battlefield. Uh, you can view, you know, internal, external, um, a couple of different weapons on them, it never seems to run out. Um, the one thing I will say is that while the vehicles feel okay, the helicopters in my very short chance of actually playing it felt absolutely dreadful. And this is not really anything that's aimed at the mod, I think this is more to do with the actual physics and crisis. The helicopters, to me, just felt absolutely dreadful. Maybe that's something that the devs can look at in the future. But maybe, as, as I say, maybe it's embedded into the actual core game itself. I mean, we've all got used to the Battlefield 3 experience of, you know, destruction, being able to drive through walls and trees. And while you can do that with some of the some of the environment, little things like this, it, when you nudge it, and it's just like, oh, it, it's, it's like a, a reminder that this game is a little bit older, uh, gameplay-wise, than some of the destruction elements. But if you can get past that, absolutely brilliant. I thought we'd just have a, a quick look at the game. Shall, shall I say that again? <laughs> this is the levels that you can select. What's better? So come on then, come on lad. Oh, it's been so far. It's plus 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 really. Plus plus pussy was it? And we all love a little bit of pussy. Right? Unless you're a a jockey rider of sausage, and you like it up the bum. I don't. I prefer my minch. There's got to be a few problems with the game, and yes, there are. There are indeed. There are indeed. Um, it has been a little buggy, and there has been various on the forum, various different ways of actually installing it and downloading the game. Um, the easiest way to do it at the minute is, is if you download a application from Desura, and I will put the link in the objective bar, subject bar below. Um, that way you can literally just go to the mod and it'll download it all for you and it'll go through the process. It, it did say on the forums that you should go in once it's installed into the mods folder and add a one on the end, but I'm sure you'll find that on the forums if any are having trouble. Some people it seems to, to solve it. The crashes that I have had, it will just pop up and say has stopped working. Um, but I have had a few people say it's because it's quite in, uh, CPU heavy, running fraps as well. Uh, it basically turns it into craps. So it shits itself and then you've got to restart. But, you know, still loving it. Oh my god, what a sniper noob. You can't hit a bam Yes, I know, fuck you. Well, we're nearly hitting the 10 minute mark and you've either fallen asleep or think I'm a Yorkshire knobhead. Probably both, I would imagine. Probably both. So let's sum it up over the 10 minutes. I've given you a quick overview into the game. I've told you that this is for Crisis Wars. Uh, the actual mod's free, and you can actually play it free if you download Crisis Wars Trial as well. It's got great weapons, gunplay's fantastic, 
the level design, in my opinion, is even better than Battlefield 3. Yes, you heard it here, it's official. I think some of the levels are better. Absolutely fantastic. If you can get past the few bugs, the, some people had a little problems installing it, some of you didn't. And if you've got an art decent rig that can run Crisis Wars, this is definitely a game I think you should invest in. There's not a huge pool of players at the minute as the game's it's not really been advertised, so it's like it's, it's like word of mouth. So I'm doing this video to try and get more people onto the actual servers. Get it, download it, install it, play it, fucking love it. Highly recommended. 10 out of 10 puddings. Till the next time. Adios. I've been a Uplad Gamer. You'll catch me on Steam. I am 00para7300. Thanks for watching. See you online. Rudy, cover me! Fred! Cover me! Oh, mate, you just shit your pants! You just farted! Fucking look at that green shit over there! Fucking dirty, smelly bastard! What's going on there now to wipe his ass? Won't be needing shit roll now, boy. Won't be needing shit roll now.